Hey everyone, this is Zach from Tech Talk. If you're having trouble with high CPU usage, this video is for you. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the Windows Module Installer Worker. And I'm also going to show you how, even if it's not the Windows Module or Installer Worker causing your issue, I'm going to show you how you can find what is using your CPU up and if you're not sure what to do with it i can't this video can't possibly cover everybody's um issue in regards to what's using up your cpu but this will show you how to at least find what the issue is or what's causing it so right click the taskbar click task manager or you can right click the start flag and click task manager now if you're having trouble at first um i would maybe hit restart and then try to get to your task manager you can also hit control alt delete and get into the task manager that way um but if your computer's pegging out and if it's the windows modular installer worker one way for you to be able to um stop that is to come in to the task manager find the windows installer worker and that's usually and maybe you're asking yourself well what is the windows modular installer worker well the windows modular installer is associated with the windows update very critical um portion of the operating system so what i would do is I click search and then type in windows update setting in there and then click on this and as you can see mine is trying to download um it's not it's not going at the moment this might be because during the process of it downloading you rebooted your computer and that temporarily stop the download and maybe your computer was working fine for a short time and then all of a sudden it started trying to download again and then um then it uh it spiked back up again so what i did is i went back into the the update here and i i triggered the download and install so as you can see now it's on eight percent so we should start seeing the cpu usage start climbing and it could peg out so i'm just going to pause it for a second just to see what it does so it's pegged up it went up as far as um 90 percent so this is also increased by activity so if i click google and i run google um high probability you're going to start seeing it go up even more <clears throat> not all the time but as you can see i'm at 70 82 percent now so it did jump up now it's 87 so what you need to do is find the scroll down so you see the windows module installer worker and it should be in here somewhere so scroll down until you find the one that's actually using up all of the resources um and it's highly unusual for it not to show it's there it is so as you can see it finally showed here so the find the windows module installer worker click here right click on it oh, go back up here and like i said it's very difficult um right click on it and then hit end task and then you should see a significant drop as you see you see there it just significantly dropped and now the function of the computer has come back so now i've got more control over my computer and it went back to um failed update so my suggestion to you is to let the update finish um when you get a chance um and a lot of people you know want to know if they can disable it sure you can you can temporarily disable it in services um i wouldn't suggest keeping it disabled so i'm going to run it so if you type in services in a search and then you can just type in windows start typing windows and then search search for module installer
and right here um, you can right click and um, you can hit stop or you can just go to the properties and just um, set it to, to manual um, and that will prevent it from running on its own usually it's set to automatic but change it to manual hit apply and then okay and and then when you're ready come on into your windows update just by typing the uh, windows update setting and then you come in here and then you can run it when you want you can also change your um you know how you go about um running your updates so the advanced options you can click advanced you can go down here and change your active hours click on active hours and um you can uh adjust your time here and that's pretty much it so um hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions if um for example if yours isn't the windows modular installer and you're having si high cpu usage and you can't figure it out leave me a comment below and um if this helps you please consider hitting that uh thumbs up and that would be greatly appreciated all right thank you for watching you have a great night all right bye